Picking a browser in 2020 can be a daunting task, especially when everyone is just defaulting to Google Chrome like that. Well, in this video, we're presenting you with two other alternatives, Chrome, Edge, and Firefox, so that you can help decide what's the best browser for you. We'll be going over things like design, ease of use, performance, security, and privacy, most importantly, to help you decide your next browser. Now, anyone's first parameter while picking their browser should be the security and the privacy features. And you don't need to be surprised when I tell you that the world's most popular browser, Google Chrome, is also the most safe. But is it also the most private? If you've been using Chrome, you can say goodbye to your privacy as it's the worst when compared to Firefox and Edge. Firefox fares a lot better. Firefox private browsing automatically erases your online info like passwords, cookies and history from your computer, ensuring you leave as little traces as possible. It also has tracking protection to block sites with ad trackers automatically. The company relies heavily on its bug bounty program and its very active community to help find and fix flaws in its browser. This is the major reason why Firefox is used by a lot of security professionals. Lastly, there's Edge. Their smart screen to protect users against phishing attempts and Windows Hello to authenticate users and websites without a hassle. Edge prevents unauthorized access of your browsing data. It also gives you more visibility into how your browsing data is collected and used so you can make more informed decisions and control over how you are tracked online. Chrome stands the undisputed winner here with Edge a very close second. There's a marketplace bustling with themes, apps, extensions and even games available for Chrome. It's more than a browser. It's moving towards becoming an entire ecosystem. However, Chrome is still quite the memory hog when it comes to browsers and that can be an issue. The convenience Chrome offers in terms of how it works and integrates with Google services, some of which you must be using, just elevates the user experience by a lot. Edge is a close second primarily because it's also based on the Chromium engine which also powers Chrome if you can guess. Which means that syncing between the two browsers is very easy and everything that runs on Chromes including apps, extensions and themes will also run on Edge without any changes required. Edge is great, don't get me wrong. Everything Google plus the bits that Microsoft added makes it a formidable experience. There's unique support for streaming Netflix in 4K, you can customize the browser to your heart's content and use the inbuilt reading mode or keep an eye out for leaked passwords using Windows Defender Smart Screen. The fact that it's optimized for Windows 10 by those who made the OS themselves only adds to the experience. Firefox, lastly, is simply a browser. It gets the job done, has everything you expect from a browser and it's easy to use and has pretty good performance as it claims to use way less RAM than Chrome. Firefox also has Ad Tracker Blocker, an inbuilt password manager, a healthy selection of extensions and a better private browsing experience. You can also sync tabs in between devices and customize the browser to your liking. Now just to be clear, we're running these tests to measure a browser's graphics performance as a lot of other things that a web browser does are often impacted by things like your internet connection speed or your computer itself. Since Edge and Chrome run on the same engine, their scores are also quite similar. In our tests, Edge often beat Chrome by a really narrow margin. Firefox on the other hand was generally a bit slower. All of these tests were run using MotionMark 1.1 from BrowserBench. So which browser should you pick? Well, I suggest going with Edge because it's a browser made for Windows 10. It's got everything that you would get with Chrome and it's getting better every day. Add to that the security and the privacy features that Microsoft has worked so hard to put in there and it becomes a really hard to avoid deal. Yes, Chrome is convenient and it's got all the features and integration with Google services, but it also sells out your data like anything. Firefox can be a really nice alternative to Edge if you're uh, a little bit stonky about your privacy, but again, you'll get a lot more features with Edge than you would with Firefox. If you liked the video, consider subscribing, press the bell icon, give us a thumbs up and tell us in the comments below which browser do you use. If you want to know more about tech, read our website candy.technology, follow us on social media at candy.technology and we'll see you in the next video.